teach CBSE 10 Maths. Hey guys, this is Tina. I teach CBSE 8 Maths. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright, now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be learning Chapter 5, Arithmetic Progressions, Exercise 5.3, Sixth Question. Alright, now let's read the question. The first and the last terms of an AP are 17 and 350 respectively. If the common difference is 9, how many terms are there and what is their sum? Okay, so here are the first and the last term. So the first is A, okay. So the A is equal to, that is 17 and then the last term is equal to 350. Okay, so I just told you guys, um, so whenever we have yell no, then the value for a n is also 350. Why? Because both are same only. Okay. So now what is the common difference? So the common difference is 9. So d is equal to 9. How many terms are there and what is their sum? So we are supposed to find how many terms are there. Okay. And then we are supposed to find their sum. Okay. I just told you guys whenever we want to find how many terms, terms, when it is related to terms, I am supposed to apply a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 uh, into d. I am supposed to apply that formula. Okay. So, let me just apply that formula. Okay guys. So, now let us apply the formula. So, the formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. So, now let us substitute the values. So, the a n value is 350 is equal to a value is 17 plus n we don't know so let us write it as it is and the d is 9 okay so now i'm gonna get this sound into this side then it changes into minus 17 is equal to n minus 1 into 9 as it is so when i just subtract them i get 333 okay and then n minus 1 as it is into 9 so here since uh, 9 it is in multiplication when it comes to this side it changes into division so 333 divided by 9 okay is equal to n minus 1 okay all right so now we can actually cancel them once again okay so now let us cancel them in third table so 3 these are 9 uh, 1 3 is 3, 1 3 is 3, 1 3 is 3. Okay, again I can cancel them in a third table. Okay, once again. So 1 3 is 3, and then 3 3 is R, it is 9, 10, 11. So 2 uh, balance. Okay, so 2 balance. So since 2 balance, no, it is 21. So 7 3 is R, it is 21. So now we got 37 is equal to n minus 1. So, 37, so here since it is in minus 1, when it comes to this side, it changes into plus 1 is equal to n. Okay, one second. Okay, so 37 plus 1 is 38. Then the n is equal to, it is 38. Now, we got to know the number of terms, isn't it? One second. Okay, so finally, we got to know the number of terms. That is 38. I'll just write it here. So, n is equal to 38. Okay, so now finally I got to know the number of terms, okay. So the number of terms it is 38. So n is equal to it is 38. Now I am supposed to find the sum, okay. For that we have another one formula that is SN formula, okay. So I am supposed to find SN, okay. Okay guys, so now let us apply the formula. So the formula is SN is equal to n by 2 into 2 into a plus n minus 1 bracket close the bracket into d and then bracket okay so this is the formula okay so now let us substitute the values so yes and we don't know let us write it as it is n value we know that is 38 divided by 2 okay so divided by 2 as it is and bracket 2 into so a value is 17 and then plus um, n value is 38 minus 1 and then uh, uh, d value is 9 and then close the bracket. Okay. So, now let us solve them. Okay. So, here uh, since you guys know here we have n right. So, we can actually write s 38. Okay. Why? Because we know the n value. 
okay so whenever you have the n value you know make sure that you guys write it like this it will be much more better okay all right so here no we can actually cancel them into table so 1 2 is 2 and 2 2 uh, 1 2 is 2 balance 1 9 2 are it is 18 sorry oh yeah 18 and then is equal to uh, 19 after cancelling them we got 19 and then bracket so 2 into 17 it is 34 yeah and then plus 38 minus uh, 1 it is 37 and then since it is in bracket now let us write multiplication into 9 okay okay so now s yes, 38 is equal to so 19 and then bracket so 34 as it is plus 37 into 9 it is 333 okay close the bracket and s yes, 38 is equal to 19 as it is and then uh, bracket so when we just add them we get 367 and then close the bracket so now it is in multiplication right so s 38 is equal to so 19 into 367 is 6973 okay so this is going to be our sum okay so this is our answer okay so finally we found the finally uh, we found the sn value uh, yeah finally we found the sn value so here s yes, 38 it is 6973 okay so we know the n value as well as the sum okay that is the s yes, 38 value okay so finally we solve it so this is 38 okay thank you guys for watching this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt comment me in the comment section catch you in the next video